sit down and I'll tell you how. I went from looking like that to how I look right now. A little while back when my hair was golden, my car got broken into and my license got stolen. I had to get a new one because my roots were bad, so I got a box of color and I left it to my dad. It looked a little brassy and I wanted to be classy, so that's why I did what my older sister asked me. I grabbed my friend Courtney and I put her in the car. Then we drove to a salon called Venus and Mars. They asked what look did I seek to obtain and I said, hey, look, you've got free reign. You smart ladies, just do what you feel. Shaved, filleted, pink or teal, yeah, that's right. I said, do what you want. Brunette, rainbow, layers of blunt. For color, I was treated by a chick named Liss. And for makeup, I had Shailen. That's my sis. What look would I get was up for vote. For a freaky fresh haircut, I had Presley Pope. Would I get a lob? Would I get some fringe? Sorry if this rap is making you cringe. So, let's get to the video. Just giving a warning that like if anybody says anything that in editing I don't feel like is interesting enough I might voice over you and make you say something else. I actually admonish you to do that. Sweet, okay. I give you guys free reign to do whatever you want with my hair as long as I can do whatever I want with your mouth. If you were gonna do a rap about Yosemite. Who is Yosemite? It's a park. It's a national park. Yosemite. I tell you that's the park for me. Look at my hands and they be how they be. Washing my car and I ride my moped too. And I turn around and then I point at you. Yes, that's who it, what I do. Your man's a balloon. That's how I rap and I Waffles. rap from night to noon. I'm just blowing on a donut. Sing it. Cut these bangs with neat scissors a few um. months ago. For this look, she has bangs. Couldn't find any hair cutting scissors, so we're gonna use some Betty Crocker neat scissors. I don't wanna do this, so we have to do it fast. This is such a bad idea. Crap. Oh, that's really bad. By like the way, like the more I can. I look like a lion. <sighs> I know that your mama loves me, but I love liver and onion so much. You think my dad did a decent job? I think your dad could honestly be a top celebrity hair colorist. Ah, uh, yes, I am sensing some explanation is due. You see, a few brief, tranquil weeks earlier, I forced my father to color my hair, and I recorded the whole process while doing a Q&A with him. It was wonderful, but I didn't post it, I forgot to, and now I feel like it's too late because my hair is different, and I'm sorry. He said he gave a really good base to work with. Unfortunately, I picked out, like, the $2 hair color at Walmart, so... I'm in a drone. I kind of look like someone, but I don't. <gasps> I look like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> <laughs> like a cool version. Red. Make her That's copper. Her. Wait, it's someone said me. make me copper, not my hair. Make me make copper. Me copper. Lilac, blue, platinum, blue, pink, copper, copper, teal, purple, platinum, blonde, copper, still blonde, but more white blonde, copper, platinum, blonde, who says black, white peach, bubblegum pink. After little to no deliberation, Liz decided to go with the one that the baby smiled at. Oh, the baby just smiled. Hey, by the way, are we gonna explain why there's a baby on you? No. Emotional support. Bunny food. What do you say? Uh, please, I wanna float more, no matter uh, what mom says. I gotta itch my nose, all right? <laughs> Open can. What the flip is this demonic? Then Liz, the colorist, ushered me into this haunted room with the possessed trash can and tried to give me a swirly in this black toilet bowl. I'm gonna cut a hole out of my kitchen sink like this. I'm having my hair washed at a real salon. This is so bougie. Wow. Oh my god. My hair is purple. Is this a thing that you typically make people pay extra for? I've literally never done that to anyone. I learned it in my last salon. I just looked like I needed it. My hair is so used to the Dollar Tree experience. I can already feel quality. Not purple. Purple. Can you put this one back on? Yeah, no problem. It came from the head. Okay, thank I you. I had a dream, yes. but I came here to this thing and that Shaylin just told me I was gonna be a model for something. The lady comes with a tattoo gun okay. and she pulls my arm out and Shaylin's like, look, she's a professional. It would be really rude to say no. Don't worry, I'll help you remove it afterwards. I think she has a little scar that says, I'm a car wash. So then she gets the stencil out and it just says paw paw in block letters, P-A-P-A, -A, right there on my arm. I realized, wait a second, Shaylin says she's gonna help me get it off. I don't think Shaylin can do that. Pudding cheese, that sounds great. So then I was kind of afraid to come here. Courtney, can you very loudly tell us about your dream last night? Here's got these two chickens, and this guy, for some reason, like, these are not your chickens, they are somebody else's. And so you took her to court for this. Chicken she's custody. Like, so she's like, they are mine, I'll show you. And so she's got this can of the creek, and she shakes it, chickens come and run after, she's like, See, mine. Such a dream may or may not have been brought on by the fact that I do this every day with my chicken. While you're all here, I'd like to ask for some input. You see, my current endeavor is finding a spot in my RV that is practical for voiceovers. So how do you think I sound crammed here in the closet? 
Wait a second, what is going on here? It looked better than that in the dream. How is this hibiscus? Does it look enough like a hibiscus? No regrets. What if we all get tattoos for no, that? Just follow so Lannan's example. You see, my brother gave my father dear an ultimatum. If you get a tattoo, he declared, I will never get another one again. But if you do not, I will get a portrait of you from your questionable rock and roll phase. And for Christmas, he surprised my dad with this. <laughs> <laughs> I would get a continuation okay, of this picture, so he has the head, so I would get from here to here, and then you could get from here to here. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Awesome. Continuation, but over time, not lengths of body. So, like... I think I'm being sabotaged because she is wiping pasted itching powder on my head. I'm burning. By my estimations, I will be dead in two hours. Um, but if she washes it off before then, I might just have white hair. I'm just kind of guessing as we're going, that's what this looks like. Is this because you almost died in Las Vegas? Yes. You just sat on my head and shanked and just stared. I was watching a pageant. While I was dying. It's totally fine. It was an important pageant. Totally fine. You're just gonna let her burn me like this? I mean... You tried to kill her. This, I don't know what you're doing to my hair, but based on the facial expressions I'm receiving... Did you shave the top of my head? I told you we were going to shave it. Oh, I missed that. Yeah. Okay. No, it's okay. You can keep going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, uh, dang. <laughs> Your ball now. Joke's on you because I have 56 wigs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said I look like a thumb. It's like kind of a knuckle. But like which finger's knuckle? I was kind of thinking the toe that's longer than the big one. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather spend the rest of your life as Amish or be automatically 15 years older? Like strict Amish or like strict Amish? I'd probably take the 15 years. When Stacy's dying, Mary Jane is here to stay. Do you like cat and dog fur on your jalapenos? Should I? You should. I don't know, I've never tried one. <laughs> now you are about to hear me speaking on autopilot. I was not paying attention to what I was saying because I was so preoccupied with the fact that there was a man shaving his own eyebrow in the background. So many things like changed so fast in ancient Egypt, like they were always developing. The really interesting thing I think about them is, um, a, could you caloxifram it? Can I what? Caloxifram it with like 100% Z-troll. Are you gonna do like 50, 47? Probably like 50, 47. Okay, any level's fine. Why would um, you not 50, 46? Because 46 just makes me feel really uncomfortable because then it gets to 10 and then she's a 10 now. Hi, I'm Makara. Um, anyways. Your shoes, so the back of them, I noticed they have these loops. Is that so if you have a friend and you want them to follow you everywhere, you strap their feet to yours? Uh, I don't really have friends that like furry seafood. Why does Sally sell seashells on the seashore when you can just pick them up anyway? Can you cry underwater? This salon delivers you Wendy's. Can I just give a bunch of fake false advertisement about your salon? Hey, what if I told you that your dad's my mouse friend? Okay. What is it called when you give someone a drink? Because it's like feeding, but it's dreading? Around this time, I began assuming that my hair would be copper on top and blonde on the bottom, which would, I guess I wouldn't be allowed to have an opinion on that since I volunteered for this. Could I have one of those little pieces of hair on your um, jacket? Oh, thank you. I've never had blue hair. If you plant them, it'll like grow a field of Smurfs. I was just dancing a lot and apparently it's time to rinse my hair out. Feel my heartbeat. It's got some eucalyptus to make your scalp tingly and honestly like I. I don't think I understood any of those words, but did you cuss? I never did that. Okay, well then I'll put it in the video. Oh no. You Whoa. said oh no as you took my makeup off. What does that mean? Oh, oh no to my face. Dude, I better put this back on this face. <laughs> Everybody come to Venus and Mars salon <laughs> for your self-esteem's sake. No, they can talk about whatever you want. They can talk about personality type stuff. He's knowledgeable about the Enneagram. Myself, I know more about MBTI. I don't like Enneagram because it reminds me too much of enema and mammogram. Yeah, that's that's rough. You can Instagram. talk about the Patterson wavelength. What? I don't. You can talk about time continuum theories. My videos aren't long enough for that sort of thing, so we're just gonna cut off. So you're talking about the Enneagram, you're all expert. I don't think you knew this part about it. So, what are your three numbers? Three, eight, five. So, what you do is you add those three numbers together 16. Okay, so we do the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. So, first color that comes to mind that starts with a P is periwinkle. That's the hair color you should go with next. I'm a bean. So I have the color and some makeup on, but now for the cut. The lovely Presley Poe is going to do it for me. I don't know what she's doing. My sister told me to show up. So here I am. So excited. I'm a slice you. Oh yeah. I don't know how I feel about the exorcism. <gasps>
Shayla, if you could get right, get your butt right here next to me and get your foot up so it looks like I'm holding my own foot. <laughs> And then maybe a little bit of like a... I need to go up just a little bit. Yes, wow. Like this? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so actually this hair color is inspiring to me because my chicken, the Zelda, is actually this exact color. Okay. Now the following clip requires a skosh of explaining. I wanted to see what the back of my hair looked like, and I've always sort of felt like if I could just turn fast enough, I'd be able to catch a glimpse of the back of my head. But after countless years and countless attempts, um, bye. <laughs> <laughs>